It is your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns, coming to you live from Miami. Uh, it's cold as hell on accident. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but we are here celebrating the 2023 Black and Positively Golden Change Leaders. Put your hands together for Aaliyah Dua. <laughs> Aaliyah Dua sounds like a person with a hit record right now. You know what I'm talking about? How you doing, beautiful? I'm good. Thank you for having me. You feel amazing, don't you? I feel amazing. You got $20,000 from McDonald's to pursue your dreams. How, how does that feel to be honored by them and amplified by them? It's surreal because I'm thinking about like, well, growing up, I go to McDonald's after school with my friends to hang out. So like to be in a four place, piece. like get a four piece, you know what I'm saying? Like ask my mom for five dollars just to get a four piece, you know? And to be here highlighted by McDonald's just like, what? <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm not, saying? Not, like, not like a little bit either. Like they're not only giving you money, they're putting you in campaigns. Exactly. You're sitting exactly. with Kenny Burns having a conversation about how to take over, earn your leisure's business. <laughs> We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Rashad, <laughs> Troy, she's coming for you, Nick. We don't want to do that. I love Earn Your Leisure. I love Earn No, they're amazing. But you're being honored by one of the biggest brands in the world. And I want to know, when did you realize you wanted to help eliminate the wealth gap? Like, you're not talking about Ponzi schemes where you got the tools to get everything you want today. You're talking about actual knowledge. Yes. So um, it started during a pandemic. You know, a pandemic was a time where everybody had to stop. I was 16 at the time, and I couldn't work a job that I had. And then I'm like, all right, the little money I'm getting, I couldn't go out with my friends anymore. So I'm thinking to myself, like, what about the people who have, like, families to feed and things to do like that? And every time I turn on the news, I hear things about, you know, black people are losing money, this and this, this and that. And I always heard something negative when it came to my people. So I'm like, somebody got to be getting rich. So right. Everybody can't be broke, right. like, you know what I'm saying? So then that's when I was like, all right, what is like, how do I learn about this stuff? What is financial literacy? So that's when I found out about financial literacy and I just started reading books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, listening to Earn Your Leisure and stuff like that and changing the information that I'm listening to every single day. And that just started changing the conversations I wanted to have. And then I just started, you know, telling my immediate friends and I'm like, nah, like the world need to hear this. So now, that's when I started. Exactly. And you're 20 years old and I was definitely not financially literate, literate at 20 years old. Was, were you guys financially? Maybe y'all, because y'all are change leaders. But the rest of us, we weren't financially literate at 20 years old. I mean, what, what responsibility was that? It's not easy. It's definitely hard because, like, I'm 20, right? I'm in college, right? I want to spend my money, do that. I like to put that stuff on, you know what I'm saying? I see you. <laughs> like, you, you know what heard I'm you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like fly stuff. I like Jordan sneakers, all that, right? So, but then it's just like, I can get this stuff now right and put myself in hardship now when it's like a sacrifice i say you know give yourself you know a couple of years to like stay down stay low build what you gotta build invest into different things it's a long-term sacrifice by the time i'm 25 26 i'm good i'm yeah. set you know what i'm saying i'm building generation wealth so it's a bigger picture and it's about having discipline you know a lot of people discipline yeah, a lot of people don't have discipline and discipline is what you know separates you know great good people from great people Ooh, discipline is what, what? Separates good people from great people. That's a bar, give a round of applause. <laughs> Tweet that, Thank you. Tweet that. Um, you're passionate, yes. you're from Brooklyn. You, you all do not know how to be any other things, uh, a thing than, pa I mean, you're passionate people. Yes. Uh, big shout out to Brooklyn. What is one of your key passion points? My passion point is financial education, financial literacy, and learning it young, right? Because people, some people never become financially literate, but pe a lot of people become financially literate after they make mistakes, which is no problem, but a lot of mistakes can be avoided if we simply just learn it beforehand, Absolutely. right? If you learn about the stock market, you learn about real estate investing, you learn about how to just budget, you, you know what I'm saying? It becomes very easy. A lot of people like get to their 40s and 50s, be like, whoa, I could have did that. I yeah. didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as technology is becoming involved, a lot of stuff is becoming easier for us to build platforms and do the things that we want in an easy way. Listen, you and Dorian, y'all act like y'all don't want to talk. <laughs> y'all really be acting. I mean, you act like you don't want to talk, but you, you really like, and you know you have to do that to get your message out, right? Of course. And you know there's a big gap between what's going on in financial literacy from the ones that are really financially benefiting and you. Mm -hmm. So now that you had this $20,000, what are you going to do? I'm going to use it as an example to show people, like, all right, this is how you get a lump sum of money and flip it, right, and invest it. And I'm going to... Flip like, it. <laughs> and I'm going to... Flip it, flip it. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, blog my whole process, tell everybody about my process and everything like that, just to show them, like, this is how you do it. These are the mistakes I'm, I made. This is how, like, you avoid this. And just show people, like, yo, I'm 20. I'm doing it. 
Like, it's out here. Go the get it. dream is real. Exactly. Awesome. Um, tell the people where they can find you so we can come hold you responsible for the words you said on this black and positively golden 2023 change makers panel. We got to find you. We got to know you. Tell them where to do it. Yes, you can find me at Financial Revolution on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all those platforms, YouTube, F-I-N-A-N-C-I-A-L, Financial Revolution, R-E-V-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-N, Financial Revolution with two N's. And she can spell. Uh, get Kirk Franklin and the family, uh, family uh, <laughs> revolution queued up. That's her theme song when she leaves. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you believe in the future like I do, and it is here on this stage today, I need you to go to mcdchangeleaders.com. You want to know why, Aaliyah? Why? Because the dream is, is real. real. Love. Thank you. Love, love, love. Thank you. Thank you.